So we do it with client in a way, or we try to give information to client in a way that can execute the process uh, easily, because they are not doing it every day. You know, so we have to help them to uh, understand and do it. So doing that, what we did, we created this implementation plan. The first chapter is basically talked about a little bit what they can accomplish, right? We, I request everybody that on our do the green building should read this. Then you know why you are doing it, why they are doing it, why we have to be passionate about it, right? It's not just the money, it's more than that. We are fighting for the art, we are fighting for the you know, climate change. So we are going to get that. We are going to be part of the solution. So it is all there. So we try to motivate them to do as much as possible, cost effective way. And then, if you come to this, there's a documentation guideline which we struggle to collect. You know, each of the credit they have to give us is a design drawing, photograph, logs, simulation, and there is a letter for certificate and now it will put whatever requires. So each credit requires one or two or three or four of these different kinds of documents. And all the documents have to uh, match with the other one. It should support with that one, right? So the design has uh, 20 tube light and invoices for 300 tube light. It's not going to work, right? So it's a basic concept. So we ask them to do it. And then, you guys should read it. I'm just going to give you a little, you know, briefing on it. And then we created this checklist. It's which product requires what kind of certificate or what kind of documents, right? So each of those product, if they say in BOQ there's a steel, then they should have recycled original content certificate and EPD certificate is available. Same thing, everything. So we have these in a different format for client to check. Now we even created, Kritika, uh, a procurement guideline. Mm. That procurement people should go through this mm. and they have to literally sign acknowledgement that they receive it and they review it. Everything that we're giving out to the client right now, we are asking for acknowledgement. So whether they read it and understand it and uh, without this acknowledgement, we're not going to go further. Mm -hmm. So every step of the way now we are doing in a way they become custom to do it, not just putting it on the side. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so we are doing that now. We're asking for this uh, things. Now here, you can see that <clears throat> we have so many guidelines has been created, and all these are now up to date, till today. If architect want to see what he have to do, the guideline is there. If ventilation consultant want to see what they have to do, what is the ASHRA uh, allocation for them, they can see. They don't need to read the ASHRA standard. They just can read our summary of the guideline, what is applicable to them, and they can just do that. Okay, our job when they send it back to us to recheck against this guideline whether they mention that or they maintain it or not. If it's not, we just have to send it back. Okay, so there are all kinds of guidelines we have. I request if you want to learn more, please review this guideline. It literally can add value to your case. Okay, at the same time, if you find some guideline that has some uh, mistakes or some information problem, please let me know so I can correct it. I'm not an architect, I'm not an engineer, but I study a lot and I put it together. And most of them uh, critical and then checked it so far. But if you find something that uh, is looks like you not know, right information, let us know we'll correct it. Okay. Or if you think like you want to add something to that guideline that is missing, you also can do it to enhance that. In Bangladesh, we give this guideline to almost everybody, even if it's not my client. The reason because we do that, we want people to practice this specific design concept, this sustainability concept, this green concept, not just for certificate. They should have, say, louver in their window so they can control the glare and they can use the data. Simple as this. Maybe it's a village house, right? So we keep this guideline to everybody. It's free for everyone. You don't have to be paid us to do it, right? And we also take it to the, all the institution that is Bangladesh, like engineering college, we give it to them so they can learn. What happened in our traditional uh, uh, education system, we move, we miss so many basic stuff. Okay, so we give that all these things. 
and then uh, also make sure the guideline I'll show you a little bit later, but I'll just tell you, we have a checklist. There's a checklist for architect, what he had to do additionally in the green building design. One checklist for the MEP consultant and one separate for the lighting consultant, one separate for the plumbing consultant. That each of them have to do few things more or additional which they normally may not do. The location of waste basket, right? Location of segregation room, location of meters, submeters, right? They usually don't do that, right? So they have to do that. So we are putting that to them to give us things. And this is our, uh, we call it, we used to call it feasibility study of the project. This is for one project, you know, it's a generic, but see, we already target which point they're gonna get. Which point they can get difficult to, it can be done, but they have to do something, right? And which point this particular project not gonna get. So it's a really scorecard, same you guys know. So it is also given to the people now. If they say now I don't want to do that uh, uh, energy atmosphere, one point thing, submit that for us, or say uh, demand response, we just take that off. We tell them that this is your point, you tell me which one you want. You want 60 point, then you take 53 for easy one, and then get another 7 point, or uh, 12 point, 8 point, 9 point from the difficult point. You want plug them, now get more. Okay, so I'm just giving you a little bit tips out. And then there's a breakdown. That's a summary and there's a breakdown. Which one? We do this in the very beginning of the project for our side, for my side as a consultant to uh, tell them what is possible for them and what is not possible for them, what is cost effective for them. So this is the summary of this portal. Okay. Based on these findings, whatever you feel like they can do, uh, easily or, or difficult but possible, we give them now, this is the actual called implementation plan. The first credit, you know, is called integrative process. We are now talking about uh, new building, the uh, same as like one for the same format, same things. So in this new building, there's an integrative process. Now, there's no cost involved, but they have to do something. So we talked about the green narratives, the lead narratives that we have, and then here, we give some notes what they are uh, supposed to do and here is a actual step-by-step -step process. They have to do, uh, all consultants must meet, right? And they're supposed to review all the guidelines. They're supposed to go to the site, to the site survey, right? They're supposed to do our checklist to understand what they have to do for us, right? All consultants must participate in periodic meetings to improve the design, right? Minimum three minutes is required, more is good. And all consultants must participate in a WhatsApp group to manage the little consultancy process. So see, now they already know what to do. We have now projects, a uh, MP consultant usually Bangladesh comes later, after the design complete, and then now, okay, what I have to do, okay, I have to put likes here, friends here. They have no say on the design process. You know, like uh, recently we have a project, it's called Air Text Complex. They made a design, uh, before we get in, 70,000 square feet floor plan. Okay, so as soon as I see that design, I say it is impossible to do the ventilation. And it's a 12 feet high RCC building, right? It's impossible to do the ventilation. Because ventilation is not even in the, in, in the picture. Building constructed, they're going to come later to put the exhaust fan whatever you get. But where are you going to put the exhaust fan in 70,000 square feet plane? So we have a big conversation with the client that it's not possible to give a comfortable space. Uh, lead we can figure out with the CFM uh, enough one side and we can qualify, but it's not going to be comfortable. So now we decided the first three floor we're going to do some inlet fan, relay fan, and exhaust fan, and onward third floor it will be two tower, mm -hmm. thirty thousand square feet each, ten thousand in the building is become totally void and both building owner comes in a year and bring up, mm -hmm. right? So, and uh, we are glad that company accepted that, that uh, that changes. So, that's why we want that every project, especially new project, should have the entire team 
Save their part. Okay, if you give me seven thousand dollar plate, Mr. Sir, we cannot do the ventilation work. Right? So we want them to do it. Another good advantage of doing that, which I promoted and now is catching it, is very important. If we can do all the design before the construction start, we can superimpose the design. There is no contradiction on, on mismatch of sections. They can conclude their construction process with less time. Um, 30 to 40 percent time they can save. Because usually they waste time, uh, design not coming, the plumbing design is not coming, or ventilation design not coming, or ventilation design comes, doesn't reach the building. Now the plumbing design comes, they say make a hole here, make a hole there, all that stuff. That should not happen. So, and if we know exactly all the design, we can start finishing work as soon as the first floor is done. The second floor go up, I can start the finishing work at the first floor because I already know what I'm going to do. All the materials, all the product selection, all the sourcing, all the design, everything is done. And we had one project uh, while ago, it's called the Complete Composite, the seventh story building. We did it in seven months. When the third story building was building, the first story building was the finishing work is started. So it is possible. We are pitching that uh, for a uh, client to understand how he can reduce his construction time from three years to two years. Meaning, one year extra production time. It's unbelievable value if they follow this lead project. Okay, so this is what we try to put, to where the value is. Not just certificate. Okay, so, so this is that thing, and then very next to next to here, okay. here very next to that, there is a documents that we need for lead purposes. We need copy of the meetings, minutes of the meetings, sign sheet, pictures. All consultants are supposed to see the site for site assessment, right? So we need all these six documents for particular, for this particular credit to complete and those two photographs. So each credit, we have this form, lead intent, lead requirements, narratives, what we want them to do, right? Step by step process. And then what documents we want from them. Okay. So the entire implementation plan is like that. I'm not going to go through all other ones because it's the same mm. format. As long as you understand. Mm. To support this, how we're going to execute this, then we created this called Master Tracker. Okay, it's a very unique thing that we create. I'll show you. Mm. This has this tracker from the beginning if I go here. Okay. This is also same as the implementation plan of feasibility report. Here we can have the same carry targeted and give them the understanding. So in this tracker, all this tab is interlinked, not on this one, uh, this is the older one. Interlinked, you can click from here and you go there. Whenever you want to go, you can just click it back. You don't have to really load it now and do it. Okay, I have the remake printer, but it's okay. So here, you have your information tab, project information that we talked about, that we have yeah. segmentized, yeah. site information. We collect all this information. And then we put it here. As soon as we put the information here, there's a zero, mm. meaning the information to be entered somewhere will come. Okay. After that, and there is a calculation template which we supposed to do the calculation for my client. So there is the template. As soon as he put his land value, say the architect put his land, to give you example. He put total length, 100,000 or 150,000 square feet. 
Okay. Architect know the land size. Right? I'll just give an example. We have to then here automatically see the 150,000 comes and then it says the green area should be 30,000 now it's 30, uh, based on 150,000 have to be 30,000 it's a big missing code if you put 33% then the next number will be come into play 45,000 so now he knows or we know how many area have to be allocated to what I don't have to calculate it is in the template. Okay. It's a huge template. It's a lot of time we invested. I invested into it almost six, seven months in the COVID time. Right? And make it. You literally can do green building with just this template. It gives you all the calculation, everything you have to ask in the map. Right? You okay. You know the site? This is the site. As they give you, you put all that number, then you know this site is achieving this open space point or not and everything like that. So see all these zero means you have to enter something somewhere and it will do its own calculation. Same we have for the solar. As soon as you put their whole energy load, it will tell you how much solar you have to do and how many points. And the energy load need to be entered in a five different tabs. One tab is for I just show you. It's called machine energy load. You put all the floor by floor, what machine, what wattage and quantities. And then you put your, this is a six, seven billion, so it's a seven billion things. Then all AC energy load, right? Right, you put it, you get your numbers. Even if you put it right, if it's a fresh air uh, energy load where it is, it will tell you the fresh air is enough or not, the CFM is enough or not. It will, even the lighting energy load, you can see the LPD. It does do the calculation for you. Right? So even if client, we make client to use it, they will know whether they are uh, up to the required level or low or over. Now they are not using it because we are not unable to make them using it, but hoping that one day they will use it, or we make them use it, or we use it together, so they can see where it is. Right? And then, all this energy, you, when it, you, it, you put them in, it will add up here, right? And it will take it to the building total. Building total energy load uh, of machine, building total energy load of AC, building total energy load for light, other load, uh, computer load, all load add up. And then it will calculate for client how much solar they can put for what point in, in kilowatt, solar kilowatt. We convert the solar to the uh, actual production and it, this template works very well. Okay. So what I uh, request you that uh, before I go to this next uh, explanation, you guys have to spend some time. We just update it again and give it to Kitika and to double check. So it will help you to cross check with yourself what we are doing, whether it's working or not, or what is missing. Right? Our biggest problem is missing of information. Right? So, and knowing what information is needed is very important. Because lead requires a lot of information. Right? So we have to make sure that we know what is this. And then we have to make it a smaller size for the time. Okay, you just give me this. You just give me this. You just give me this. Okay? This way, we can have better understanding. And then, this is all the energy modeling. Then actual things come. This is called our master tracker. Okay. You guys are going to work with this a lot because in my office we decided... Please come. In my office, we decided we are going to follow this Docker religions. Simple. If we cannot follow it, we are not going to close the project. We have so many uh, projects that we missed and uh, our time passed there, interest and motivation and drama. So this one, you see here, remember that we talked about the integrative process? This is integrative process. Right? And here, the document 
population collections. That means we collected all these total. Hmm. If it's Y or zero, mean it's not here, it's somewhere else. Where I put the input? Here it says 28 log M6. So here we have five tabs related to documentation collection. This is going to be, this is the accumulation tab. This is not going to collect any document. If document have to be collected, their respective tab. So I, if I go to log, Log. Here we say, same thing is same line. Copy of the minute minutes. You got? Yes, I got. Okay. Uh, integrative process uh, uh, signing sheet, you got? We got. Picture, uh, it's other there. So in log, we got all this. Now if I say I didn't got it, I just delete it. Okay. I need to say which period it is, no? So I did not, other two is for other credit, so I just delete up to here to show you. Now I go back, guess what? It's not there. So now if I ask my team or I ask you, okay, what's your name? Purushottana. Purushottana. You call it Purush. Purush. Ma'am. Hmm. Purushottam means best man. Purushottam, best man. I know that. This man knows. So Purushottam, if I ask you, did I complete my integrative process training yet? Based on the tracker? No. What I have to do? Uh, first, I need to collect all the documents related to this integrative process. Okay. Then I need to update that template. The signing sheet. Give me the. They have picture, they went to the site, yes. right? And then I can complete this process or you're not going to get this one. Simple. As simple as this. Right? We decided from 360 TSL, I'm not going to send you all this for you to check and tell me what requires. Because I already know. Why should I call you guys? You guys can you check me what else I need? But now we don't want to do that. If it's a technical thing, of course, we can ask them. It's a simulation as that we ask you. Make sense now? So this is there. Now these two, there's a photographic trackers. See here, if you pair punch, it is another 24. So you go back to 24 here, and there is a yes, I put it no, because we didn't do anything to do that yet. Right? And I come back here, that's two is gone. sense? So all, if we complete all these photographer trackers, all these material document trackers, all the design drawing if we collect what we you know we're supposed to collect, and all the miscellaneous document that we need to do, if we have all the logs and all the plan policies has been accepted, signed, sealed and executed with some document, our project is ready to do. Make sense? So this is why I'm going asking you, asking Hitika to all you come from my office. Every time I send you update, we're gonna send you one of these with that data. Mm. So this is updated till now. Why I'm gonna send you? That is the important part. That why it is my job. See, everything is my job. Why I'm asking you to, you to hear? This is the reason I show you, which we also decided in my office. I'm gonna send it to you. Organize in a credit folder. Deliver to GSC. That's you. You have to tell me I'm okay. After that, you never ask anything about this credit to me. Mm. Even if it's a standalone credit which does not have synergy, you go and submit to the lead template. It is accessible to you. That credit, if it's a synergy less credit, mm. that can be submitted by itself. No matter when the project complete, you finish that credit submission. Okay. And you tell me that it's completed, I'll put there it's completed. If we follow this, 50-60% of the things will be done before actual submission is done. If I'm not sure. Yes. 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 Right? Now, if you think that in this credit I want to submit, only one item is missing. 
Press me. Mm-hmm. Push me. Forget everything. Get this one. I want to finish this one. That should be our desire. That should be our intention. Right? And this template looks like a lot of things, but if you follow it, it's gonna make your life so easy. You know when people call me now, Ananda, give me an update. Put the date on this template, send it over. Please check the tab 22. Here, it's very unique template. Here that's what happened. Remember that lead scholarship we talked about? Right? It is also here, right? Now this indicative process, this one, target easy, target effort required, achieved, right? So I put, it was like this before, okay, it was targeted, not achieved. So if you go here, how is the achieved line? Zero. You go up again and say, no, we didn't finish it. Fine. We did it here. I put it here. Good. Fine. You achieve one point, right? You go down again. What happened? Now if the client say, I don't want to read all this, I want a summary. Very good. Go to 23. That's your late summary scorecard. Here, he didn't put the chip there, but it's the link to this here. I send this to them, that's your. What happened to all other credit? Go back and see what you did not give me. What you failed to give. Or you didn't give me. Right? So I'm putting the, always the, the ball into their foot. Not only that, all my project, if it's consult my, if they sign with me, they have to have mandatory green officer for their project that only work for me, only work for me. If they have other written, uh, job description with compliance, HR admin, I don't work with that person. Why? Because one person do green is enough, he cannot do anything else. It's not possible. This is sustainability we are talking about. And each of the credit is good for something. These are good for energy savings, good for money savings, good for art savings, good for atmosphere savings, good for health savings. Otherwise, it would be lead credit. Lead is always good, better than normal. Yes. Lead means it's better than standard. Hmm. Ashray standard says this, you have to be 5% better to qualify, 7% better to one point, and you know, all that. So you have to be better. And more better is better your better point. Injury. So, if we can bring this template culture to our son in my office, I consider both is my office really. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, yes. then I think we can smooth the process okay? and all in the same page. If we don't follow it, or I follow it, you don't follow it, or you follow it, I don't follow it, then it's not going to go. It's a teamwork, and so far that I work with Kitika for quite a bit time, she almost, I mean, without any hesitation, agreed that this is the way to go forward. Not for only my project, maybe she will do it for other projects also. Because we do not have any established system in green building process like this, as far I know. You already know me a little bit. I start this thing in 2012, coming from Canada. I became first lead GA in Bangladesh. Then I worked for EN3, where she worked for. I was their representative in Bangladesh. And I have quite a good number of projects that I gave it to them, which we worked together at that time. Even they do not have a system like this. Because what they have, they teach me, right? To get the things done. They don't have. And Kitty I don't have either. She has her own way. But this is, I think, the simplest way. Even if this COVID doesn't happen, it, it's not going to happen. It requires a little bit of time for me to get it. It looks simple, but it's not simple. Right? So now we just update it. We share the latest version with her. She's going to approve it. And then that is going to be our Bible until we have it. That makes sense. Until we improve it. So that is what 
we want to do as a team. Same with your simulation. I have a special uh, checklist what you need for simulation to be done properly. Uh, ask her to share with you and you validate that. Yeah, yes ma'am, these are the things that are enough for me to complete the simulation. Without this checklist or anything missing from this, please don't send me it to the simulation. Yes ma'am, done, right? Easy. Same with design drawing, you know, you have a design drawing checklist, you can, you can talk, whatever. So we, after we go through this, we're not going to ask this question, what else you need or he need or she need. We all know because it is. If it is not there right now, we update that. We put, okay, we're missing this item. Let's include to that, whatever credit it is or whatever place it is or whatever checklist it is. Include that in there and then it's going to become checklist. Right? So this is where we're going to go forward. And I think if we start practicing it, first few months may be difficult, critical. Maybe we will have some linkage problem. If you find any linkage is not working, please let me know. I'll collect because I have to collect it for all of them. Because each project has one template, right? And in my office also, I assign few projects to Dipankar, few projects to Basit, few projects to uh, Shakib and coordinator is uh, Kashmir. So we also have, and they also know this. And in my office, I literally created an exam for them. They have to pass the exam on this. They have to pass the exam on each of the guidelines. They have to read the guideline, and there's a quiz. They have to pass the read the guideline, right? And we're going to do that for the client green officer also. The green officer that I have in my project, especially for new project, they have to go through a training process I have in my Yahoo uh, uh, channel mm -hmm. and they have to participate in that 100 question, 10 videos, 100 question quiz, pass 80%. Mm -hmm. Same likely. This is on the construction related. So if they don't pass, they don't get that logo and they cannot become green officers. What good news is after they go through that and after we're going to go make the quizzes for all the guidelines and all this template, if I make my green officer certified on particular that, we get a lot less call, mm -hmm. lot less inquiries. This they know. Right? What happened last says four or five months, my client asked me, how much do I have to do? So I went back to my step-by-step -step plan, cut down that space, the renewal harvesting, with the renewal harvesting guide, and I said, go figure it out. And the tab is here, renewal harvesting calculation. I say, you give me all that information, your hardy space, green space, roof space, you know, and I'll tell you. Or you can put it by yourself. Because if you tell me, I'm going to put it here anyway. So you put it. Oh, I don't know my hardy space. I don't know your renewal harvesting calculation. I don't know my pawn size. Very good. I don't know your renal harvesting calculation. Hmm. You cannot ask me something without giving me the information. Right? But guess what is working now? Hmm. Now the moin is good and fast, no more than me. <laughs> you know? I, I, when I know they know more than me, they might find my mistakes. In some way. They, do, they read the whole thing, and the only thing they find is three mistakes that I made in some way. Which is good. I love it. Okay. So this is the summary that uh, we have for so far. Yeah. Now you, uh, you can ask me some question if you like, which is the most important part. If you don't ask me the question, there's two things can happen. Uh, two reasons. One, you understood everything more than I explained, or you did not understand anything. But I don't know which one is that. So you have to tell me which one it is. So ask me that.